You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, June the 5th, 2020. The Astros and Orioles played each other. This was a close game. It was 9-9 going into the ninth inning, and it stayed that way going into extras. The Astros broke the tie with a two-run 11th inning, and they ultimately won. Austin Pruitt got the win, Paul Fry got the loss, and Roberto Ozuna earned his 20th save of the year. Interleague play here between the Brewers and the Red Sox, 9-7, the final score. The Brewers got seven runs on 10 hits, the Red Sox nine runs on 15 hits. Marcus Walden got the win, Brett Anderson got the loss, and Brandon Workman earned his 20th save of the year. The Rays and Yankees played each other in AL East matchup, 3-1 was the final score. The Rays got a run in the ninth inning, but it was too little to overcome the three-run deficit they had going into that ninth inning, and they ultimately lost. Jordan Montgomery got the win. Ryan Yarbrough got the loss, and Aroldis Chapman earned his 13th save of the season. AL Central Baseball between the Indians and the Royals, 2-0 the final score, and the Indians got a run in back-to-back -back innings in the fourth and then in the fifth. Zach Plezak got the win, Jorge Lopez got the loss, and Brad Hand earned his 24th save of the season. The Royals in this game also got out-hit 11-3. The Tigers and White Sox played each other 9-3, the final score of this game. The Tigers were hoisted ahead by a five-run sixth inning, and they won by six runs. Daniel Norris got the win, and Michael Kopech got the loss. Rangers-Blue Jays, a two-run game this was, final score 3-1. Kyle Gibson got the win, Ryan Baruki got the loss, and Jose Leclerc earned his 15th save of the year. The Angels and Twins played each other. It was 7-7. Seven Going into extra innings, the Angels had come back to tie the game. Taylor Rogers blew another save this season, and the Twins, however, blowing the save in the top of the ninth did not stop them from winning the game. They ultimately walked it off in the bottom of the 12th inning. So Taylor Rogers earned himself the win, and Cam Bedrosian ended up getting the loss. And at least baseball, the Braves and Phillies played each other. This was a close game, and there was a lot of early offense. The Phillies got two runs on the top of the first. The Braves responded with a two-run bottom of the first inning. Then the Braves got a run in the second, and all those runs ended up holding up. The Braves won by a run. Despite that, the Phillies still got more hits than the Braves did, but lost because they couldn't score as many runs. Sean Newcomb got the win. Zach Wheeler got the loss, and Will Smith earned his 20th save of the year. Interleague play between the Mariners and the Marlins. 4-1 to one the final score. The Marlins had a comeback win in this one. The Mariners scored early. They got a run in the first inning. The Marlins tied the game in the eighth and walked it off in the bottom of the ninth, scoring three runs to win it. Adam Conley got the win in this one. The Cardinals and Pirates played each other in an NL Central game, and the Pirates won by a healthy margin. 7 to nothing. the final score. The Pirates got three in the second, two in the third, and those were the only ones they really needed, but... They got a run in the fifth and the sixth innings and won by seven runs. Trevor Williams got the win and Adam Wainwright got the loss. Another NL Central matchup between the Cubs and the Reds. Three to one the final score of this game. The Cubs came out on top. Jarrell Cotton got the win. Luis Castillo got the loss and Craig Kimbrell earned his 20th save of the year. NL East baseball between the Mets and the Nationals. Six to five was the final score of this game. Much offense in this one and a close one. The Mets got an insurance run at the top of the ninth inning, which was needed because the Nationals scored a run in the bottom of the ninth inning and ended up losing by a run. Paul Sewald got the win. Patrick Corbin got the loss. He's 2-5 now in the year. And Edwin Diaz earned his 15th save of the season. NL West baseball between the Diamondbacks and the Padres. The D-backs won by three. They walked it off in the bottom of the 11th inning. But the D-backs came back in the ninth as well to tie the game at six. They were down a run going into the bottom of the ninth. They tied the game successfully and then got themselves a win. Andrew Chafin got the win. He's 1-1 one one now on the year. And another NL West matchup here. The Rockies beat the Dodgers again. 9-7 the final score. And there was offense scattered throughout this game. Each team had a three-run inning in this one as well. The Rockies put up three in the eighth and one in the ninth to give themselves nine runs and go ahead by a large amount going into the bottom of the ninth. But the Dodgers almost came back. They got three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning, ended up losing by two, but they didn't give up at all throughout this game. John Gray got the win. David Price got the loss, and Wade Davis earned his 13th save of the season. Let's take a look at standing, starting in the American League East. The New York Yankees are 38-26. They're still at the top of this division. 
The Blue Jays are 34 and 30. They lost today. They're still in second place, 34 and 30, but they've been pushed back a game. They're now four games back of the Yankees. The Red Sox are 31 and 34 for the first time this season. They're in third place, seven and a half games back of the Yankees. They're on a two-game winning streak. The Orioles are in fourth place, 30 and 33 is their record, also seven and a half games back. And the Rays have fallen to last place. They're 30 and 35, eight and a half games back. They've lost five games in a row and seven of their last ten. In the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins are 45 and 20. They're still at the top. The White Sox 40 and 24. They're four and a half games back. The Indians are 35 and 29, nine and a half games back. The Tigers 24 and 39, 20 games back. And the Royals still in last place. They're on a three-game losing streak. They've lost seven of their last ten, and they're 20 and 44, 24 and a half games back. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics are 39 and 25. They still lead this division. The Astros two and a half games back, 36 and 27 is their record, and both the A's and the Astros are on three-game winning streaks. The Angels are 30 and 33, eight and a half games back. The Rangers 27 and 37, 12 games back, and the Mariners still in last place. They're 24 and 41, 15 and a half games back of the A's for first place. Wildcard standings in the AL. The White Sox are second best of the Twins. The White Sox are one of three teams in baseball that has 40 wins. But they're second to a Twins team that has 45 wins this season, so they'll have to settle for the top wildcard spot. In the bottom wildcard spot is the Astros. 36-27 is their record. The Indians, one and a half games back of the Astros for that second wildcard spot, the 35-29. The Blue Jays are 34-30, and two and a half games back of a wildcard spot. And every other team has a winning percentage below 500, and the closest is six games back. The Red Sox, Orioles, and Angels, but everybody else is further back than that. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals are 37-26, and 26, still at the top of this division. The Marlins have fallen into a solid second-place position. They're 35-29, and 29, two and a half games back. They've won three games in a row. The Phillies are on a three-game losing streak. They've lost pace with the Nationals, and not only that, they've fallen to third in this division. The Braves are 32 and 32, even 500 running percentage. They're five and a half games back. And the Mets still in last place. They're now a double digit amount of games back to the Nationals in first place. They're 10 games back, 27 and 36. And they've lost eight of their last 10 games. In the National League Central, the St. Louis Cardinals are 33 and 31. They're still at the top of this division. The Cubs are 31 and 34. They beat the Reds today. They're two and a half games back. The Brewers have lost four games in a row. They're 28 and 35, four and a half games back. The Reds are 27 and 37. They lost to the Cubs today. They're six games back of the Cardinals for first place. And the Pirates beat the Cardinals today. They're 24 and 39, eight and a half games back, still in last place. In the National League West, the Los Angeles Dodgers are 43 and 20. They're still at the top of this division. They've lost two games in a row though, but they haven't been caught up to because the Padres are on a three-game losing streak. They're 37 and 28. The Diamondbacks are 33 and 30, 10 games back of the Dodgers for first place. The Rockies are 27 and 36, 16 games back. And the Giants, 26 and 37, they're 17 games back of the Dodgers for first place. National League wildcard standings look like this. The San Diego Padres have the top spot with a 37 and 28 record. The Marlins are 35 and 29, good for the second wildcard spot. The Phillies are a game out of the Marlins, 33 and 29 is their record. These two have flipped spots ever since the Phillies fell below the Marlins in the division as well. The Diamondbacks, 33 and 30. They're one and a half games back. And the team that is the next closest and one of the, and is the last closest team to getting that second wildcard spot is the Braves. They're 32 and 32. They're three games back. Every other team in this league has a winning percentage below 500. Looking at league leaders now, starting with batting average leaders in the American League. Miguel Cabrera, 368 average. He's still at the top. Carlos Santana, second best with a 359. And Michael Brantley, third best with a 352. In the National League, David Dahl is a 356. Nicholas Castellanos, three points behind him with a 353 average. And Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with a 349. Hits leaders in the American League. DJ LeMahieu has 90 hits, as does Miguel Andujar. They're Yankee teammates, and they're at the top of this list. Miguel Cabrera, third best with 88, two behind 90. In the National League, Jonathan Villar is at 94. 13 behind him is Paul Goldschmidt with 81. And Ronald Acuna Jr. and Nolan Arenado round out the top three. They're tied for third best with 79. At bat leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar has 265. That leads in the NL, Jonathan Villar is at 270. Doubles leaders in the American League, Anthony Rendon, 25 doubles, Jose Abreu, 23, Miguel Andujar, 22. 
In the National League, Jonathan VR has 32. Nine behind him is Christian Yelich with 23. Trey Turner, Nicholas Castellanos, Brandon Crawford, and Cattell Marte all tied for third best with 19 doubles. Triples leaders in the AL, Jose Altuve at the top with five. Adalberto Mondesi, second best with four. And there's a long list of players that have hit three triples, which qualifies them for third best in the league. In the National League, Jonathan Villar is at seven triples. Chris Bryant, Hunter Pence, and Victor Robles all tied for second best with five. Home run leaders in the American League, Justin Upton has passed Josh Donaldson and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He has 23 home runs, and he leads. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Josh Donaldson tied for second best with 22. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. still at the top. He has 25. Paul Goldschmidt and Max Muncy tied for second best with 18. And you have Gregory Polanco of the Pirates, fourth best with 16. RBI leaders in the American League, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. still at the top. He has 66 RBIs, and he has a 10 RBI lead to Josh Donaldson, who's second best with 56. Chris Davis, Jorge Soler, Nelson Cruz, and Austin Meadows all tied for third best with 54. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has 52. Cody Bellinger has 50. Christian Yelich rounds out the top three with 48. Run scored leaders in the American League. J.D. Martinez at the top with 52, and he's the only player in the AL over 50. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 55 runs scored. Trey Turner, the only other player over 50 in the NL, he has 54. Stolen base leaders in the American League. Adalberto Mondesi is at 14. D. Gordon's at 13. Malik Smith is at 12. In the National League, Starling Marte has 24. Trey Turner and Jonathan Villar tied for second best with 19. Walks leaders in the American League. Shinsu Chu has 42 walks on the year. In the National League, Reese Hoskins has 42 walks. On base percentage leaders in the American League, Miguel Cabrera is at a 439, Mike Trout at a 433, Carlos Santana third best with a 427. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has a 446, Christian Yelich has a 432, and Dansby Swanson has a 431. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson has a 681, Mike Trout's at a 659, and Chris Davis at a 645. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., the only player in baseball left with 1 over 700. He has a slugging percentage of 755. Christian Yelich, second best with a 670. And Paul Goldschmidt, third best with a 659. OPS leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson at the top of the 1.100. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. tops this list with a 1.178. Wins leaders in the American League, this is pitcher statistics. Kenta Maeda at the top with 8. Gio Gonzalez, Yun Jin Ryu, and Jake Odorizzi tied for second best with 7. In the National League, Walker Bueller has 10 wins. Madison Bumgarner and David Price tied for second best with 7. Losses leaders in the American League, Mike Miner and Kenta Maeda, the only two AL pitchers left undefeated. In the National League, Walker Bueller and Carlos Martinez at the top. They've lost just one game this year. Saves leaders in the American League, Brad Hand has 24, Liam Hendricks has 23, Brandon Morkman, Michael Givens, and Roberto Ozuna tied for third best with 20. In the National League, Giovanni Gallegos has 25, Sean Doolittle and Kentley Jansen tied for second best with 23. ERA leaders in the American League, Mike Miner has a 2-2-3 that leads the AL. In the National League, Walker Bueller, the only pitcher under two, he's at a 1-6-0 ERA. Home runs allowed among American League pitchers. Mike Miner and Gio Gonzalez at the top with four home runs allowed. In the National League, Carlos Martinez has allowed three. Garrett Richards second best with four. Shutout leaders in the American League. Garrett Cole, Masahiro Tanaka, and Jake Odorizzi still at the top. They've each thrown two complete game shutouts this year. In the National League, Jacob Grom has three. Zach Wheeler and Walker Bueller tied for second best with two. Strikeout leaders in the American League. Garrett Cole has 111 strikeouts, Lucas Giolito with 97, and Carlos Carrasco third best with 95. In the National League, Steven Strasburg has 108, Clayton Kershaw has 103, and Robbie Ray rounds out the top three with 97. Complete games thrown among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole, Masahiro Tanaka, and Jake Odorizzi have each thrown two complete games. In the National League, Jacob deGrom has three complete games, as does Zach Wheeler. Aaron Nolan, Walker Bueller tied for third best with two. Innings pitch leaders in the American League. Hyunjin Ryu has 87 and two-thirds innings pitched. Garrett Cole's at 85 and a third innings pitched. Dan Jaco to Rizzi, third best with 84 and a third innings pitched. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw has 90. Aaron Nola, 89 and a third. And Johnny Cueto, 86. Walks allowed among American League pitchers. Carlos Carrasco has 11. In the National League, Brett Anderson has 16. Whip leaders in the American League. Jake Odorizzi, 0.98. Dylan Bundy, 1. And Masahiro Tanaka, 1.01. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw is right at 1, Aaron Knoll is at a 101, and Mike Soroka is at a 104. Pitching war leaders in the American League. 
Jake Odorizzi, 2.3. Carlos Carrasco, Shane Bieber, and Corey Kluber have a 2.1. They're on the top four on this list. In the National League, Hugh Darvish has a 2.2, as does Walker Bueller and Jacob deGrom. They make up the top three on this list. Batting war leaders in the American League. Marcus Semien has a 4.2, DJ LeMahieu with a 3.9, and Josh Donaldson third best with a 3.7. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a war of 5. Christian Yelich behind him, second best with a 4.3, and Jonathan VR rounds out the top 3 with a 3.7. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, June the 5th, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.